Today was the day. We have a winner for the Prada Cup final. Just one of 36 challenges that have gone forward in the 170 year history of the America's Cup to face the defender. My name's Nick Douglas. Awesome to have you here for the AC Chat and Rap Show after what we now have seen to be the day to get a new challenger. It is Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli for the first time in 21 years. It's their sixth attempt. They are now through and the official challenger for the 36th America's Cup. Very exciting. But let's get straight into debriefing the racing, which I know you all want to do. First and foremost, this is going to be a very quick debrief tonight because tomorrow we will look at the Prada Cup in its entirety with John Bertrand, friend of the show at 1700 hours Australian time. I've tried to put in the caption all of the different times I could think of. So GMT, Central Standard, uh, European time. So if you want to tune in live, uh, you are totally welcome to join us. And we will, of course, ask JB all of your questions. But if you want to watch later on, you can, whether you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook. But let's get into the racing. That's why we're all here. Here is the action from today. A quiet morning in Auckland and a building sea breeze as the sailors headed down to the dock. It was 5-1. Ineos Team UK managed to get a win on the board yesterday and many were hopeful of a comeback as they docked out. The Italians were never going to give an inch though. It looked exceptionally slick all the way through. The first start, Ineos led back once again as they'd done the day before, but a different tactic from Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli, sticking with them on their hip all the way to the boundary. On the tack at the boundary, we saw a lee bow from Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. On the port position off their hip. And they were able to flick Ineos Team UK giving the advantage to the Italians, and they were never headed. They won that race by a stunning 1 minute and 45 seconds. Absolutely beautiful sailing. I think we've said clinical, slick, textbook. There's been many words in our chats on Twitter, uh, in our live cross on uh, Clubhouse as well. It's been great to have you all joining us. So thank you, everybody, for getting involved in what is a, a very charged regatta we've learned again in the past few days. Everyone's emotional. Everyone wants uh, a team to win. But I'm just cheering for sailing here, guys. So it was beautiful racing to watch. And all I can say from that race is both boats had a J1. Uh, but we think that Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli's J1 is a little larger than Ineos Team UK, so that may have given them a little bit more speed, especially on the downwinds where we saw them extending. That start scenario, we can pick it apart and see that they've obviously gone over the start of race six and really gone back and gone through the scenarios that might happen if they end up in that position on the hip. Instead of doing an early tack off, as we saw in race six, they opted to go all the way to the boundary and then tack onto port with Ineos right on their hip in that lee bow position. So very well executed scenario there by, by Jimmy and Kiko. Uh, then we went into race number two. It was do or die at this point for Ineos Team UK. 6-1, first to seven race series. And this is what happened. So we saw Ineos come out aggressively leading back. Again, lots of fishtailing from Luna Rossa. An unsuccessful protest. A cross from Ineos. And a flag from Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli with a port and starboard. They were actually penalised for Rule 16, altering and not giving room to keep clear. They managed to get in front of the Deltas from 34 seconds, then out to 56 at the finish. <laughs> and a win to Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. 
We are different, Australian and Italians, very different. I've got to say, uh, well done to Luna Rosa and well done Italy. Uh, no, it's a big deal in Italy uh, getting into the America's Cup final again. So congratulations to the team, to Jimmy and Kako and all of the boys. Uh, you know, they, they sell brilliantly and, uh, you know, deserve to take the, to take the final. Yeah. And that is Jim Ratcliffe from Ineos shaking Ben Ainsley's hand there. He did climb aboard after the racing, cheering each other on. There's the awarding of the Prada Cup to Max Serena, the skipper. Jimmy and Kiko were into the mum champagne. And as can be expected, there's going to be a big party in Auckland tonight. And here's a look at the scoreline. 7-1. Luna Rossa, Prada, Pirelli take the Prada Cup, and they're our next official challenger. What we need to remember is this is just step one, heading into that final, which will be the Cup match, which starts on the 6th of March, 1600 hours New Zealand time. It's also a first to seven series. This may confuse a few people because traditionally the Cup has uh, had more races than the Challenger series, but it's the same amount of races. The boats must measure in on the 1st of March, so there's no measurement every day, as we've seen in past cups as well. So that makes it interesting. And I really just can't wait to watch the racing. So I think that's all we've got to say tonight, really. And that's all we've got to cover, unless we've got some questions from any of you guys that you want me to answer before I log off and get ready for my show tomorrow with John Bertrand. We will be wrapping up the Prada Cup in its entirety right from the round robin all the way through the semi-final and into this Prada Cup final, which concluded today. Fantastic to have you all joining us, whether it's been on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram or Clubhouse. Really enjoying sharing this incredible regatta with you all. I will see you all tomorrow. And if you're in Auckland... You shouldn't be watching this. You should be having a drink with those Italians or buying drinks for Ineos Team UK. We'll see you all very soon. My name's Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl. Pleasure to be with you, as always. Cheers.